holiday season is fast approaching, and here to tell us what to expect at the Festival of Lights and the Ameren Thanksgiving Day Parade is the chairman of Christmas in St. Louis, Kenneth Mallon. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. I can't believe it's too, it's not too early now to start saying happy holidays, I guess. It's November. <laughs> it's time to start thinking about Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, kind of here in St. Louis, the big kickoff when you know officially the holidays are here is Festival of Lights, and I can't believe it's already going to be next weekend. So you want to start off with the details sure. and what people can well, expect? Well, we're thrilled to again be hosting the Ameren Missouri Festival of Lights. This year we're returning to our roots. We're going back to Keener Plaza and that event will be next Saturday, November 18th, starting at 3 p.m. We have a whole three, four hours filled of family entertainment. Mm -hmm. The Muni kids will be joining us, the Kingsbury Place singers will be there, and some other special guests. Mm -hmm. That all leads up to a huge night because we start by lighting up the Salvation Army Christmas tree an annual event here in St. Louis. We usually have at least one or two children from Make-A-Wish uh -huh. who actually formally light up the tree. And I gotta tell you, there's not a dry eye on the uh -huh. bunch when those kids light that tree uh -huh. up. The next thing we do is we light up decorations along Market Street. Uh, Christmas in St. Louis a number of years ago decided it was time to bring back Christmas decorations along the street. So we'll light those up. And then finally, we'll have a fireworks show that night. And so we're uh, very excited about being back in Keener Plaza and having an opportunity to light up the place big time. Yeah, so it's, I mean, people may remember last year you were at Union Station, and then now you're back at Keener Plaza after it's been redone. There's some other things. You've got ice skating, is that right? That's true. In conjunction with the Gateway Park Arch Foundation, uh, we're actually uh, kicking off what's called Winterfest in Keener Plaza. So running from basically next Saturday until the first week of January, Winterfest will be held inside a Keener Plaza and one of the main features working in conjunction with the St. Louis Blues is a return of the ice skating rink mm. inside of Keener Plaza and so every day you can go put on some skates uh, and hop on the ice and enjoy all the fun downtown. Let's, when people hear Christmas in St. Louis, if you're not from St. Louis, it's a civic organization. Talk about sort of the history and why this is so important to sort of focus and highlight the holidays and bring the community together. Well, about 40 years ago, a group of men and women got together and decided that we as a group had to do fun, exciting things downtown to bring people back downtown to enjoy all the holiday festivities. In years gone by, we used to have many of the windows over at Famous Bar and places like that, traditions that were established and continued for years and years. Uh, when those went away, we decided we were going to create our own special types of traditions, one of which is the Festival of Lights itself. Uh, by focusing on the family, providing family entertainment, reaching out to partners such as the City of St. Louis Public Schools, mm -hmm. the library and things like that, we've gone ahead and created new, tra uh, tra uh, new tra uh, traditions, traditions down there. Mm -hmm. um, this year, working with the Public Library, we are having our coloring contest as well as an essay contest. Those winners will be announced that night. Oh, that's fun. And what else can people expect? I mean, you've got, you mentioned the Muni Kids, obviously the big tree lighting ceremony. We had a photo of that when the tree lights up, which is beautiful. Is there food or anything that people can... There will be food, food trucks throughout the entire area. And one of the uh, groups that I love is the Walking Christmas Trees. <laughs> if you're not familiar with this group, it's about 30 or 40 strong. They hail from down in and around the brewery area. They dress up by making their own Christmas tree outfits. And they'll be <laughs> flooding the entire zone and having lots of fun with the crowds. It is. It's a really nice time. And it is. It's very... I've, we've taken the kids down and it's a great family-friendly uh, family-friendly event that I think it's, if you go year after year, it builds a great tradition for individual families. I agree. It'll be broadcast in part on KMOB, okay. one of the uh, other television stations here in town. Mm -hmm. But pay attention to the weather. Make sure you dress appropriately for downtown. Parking will be available throughout the area, both on the street as well as in the parking garages. And for those who have Metrolink available, I would come down on Metrolink. Okay, that's great advice. And we've got the, some information there for you on the screen. It's Christmas in St. Louis, and it's the Ameren, Missouri Festival of Lights. It's taking place next Saturday, November 18th at 3 p.m. at Keener Plaza. For more details, go to christmasinstlouis.com. But stay with us at STL Live. We're going to learn more about the Ameren Thanksgiving Day Parade next. Stay with us.